a sequence of development of the chakras that has come out of integrating the chakra view with the oriental medicine view of the five element sequence of spiritual development and development of consciousness is really fascinating. It gives us a pattern, uh, the part that's, that's defined by the relationship and then we have to extrapolate from that and, and here's where extrapolation is okay. We're, it's a theory. We can, it's then a, a testable theory. We can observe and see if that holds true. But we're looking at a pattern, we're extrapolating the pattern. Uh, so the pattern starts from the non-local metal element, from the, our senses, bringing our senses in to the, and bringing in the actual substrate of consciousness, the M-state minerals, the Ormus, the, the philosopher's stone that's in the air, we're breathing in that Jing, uh, that Jing essence of spirit, and into the lungs, and then we're, it's going to our heart through circulation on, on the physical material level, we're, we're sending it to, you know, to the, the left heart uh, to pump it to the rest of the body. It's coming in at the top of the heart and, and being pumped out back out at the top of the heart, but as that's happening, the, the, these are super fluid minerals and so they are going to actually create a vortex where they're coming in in, in, in earthly form, in, in, in non-local form, or, or it, from the Earth's field, they're in a state that's called paramagnetic. They're, they're the parallel, they parallel the magnetic field of the Earth. They're part of that cellular structure of the Earth. But now we're gonna take them into this heart's field, and if, our, if your spirit is in your heart, if you are heart-centered in your consciousness, your heart is going to be, your heart energy is gonna be a compatible energy for these spirit minerals. They're gonna be enticed to come on board that energy field. They're gonna, these are conscious minerals. These are, have, are fractals of the divine consciousness. So when they come into that heart field, they are entrained into that energy. They become one with it and take on an, a diamagnetic relationship with fields around. They become part of your biological, conscious, sentient, cellular structure of spirit. And so they're gonna flow in at the top of the heart along with the blood in a paramagnetic way. And then they're gonna flow outward at the bottom of the heart as a diamagnetic uh, pulse of, of food for your soul, food for your spirit body. And so it creates a, a, a donut shaped plasmoid around the heart. Uh, again, it's the strongest electromagnetic field of the body, and so it energizes the, the, the spheres around it. Starting from this fourth chakra, we see that the spiritual development according to oriental medicine, the five elements, is gonna go to, and, and, and correlating the relationships, the functions involved in the different chakras and, and elements. We can see that there's a relationship between now the fifth chakra as the next step of development being associated with the earth element and, and thought. Okay, so thought, which we think of as happening in, in the head in, in Western thinking. And there is certainly a relationship there to processing, information processing going on in the brain and the nervous system. But there's also a relationship to, uh, to the uh, digestive system <clears throat> and the earth element. Uh, that was seen in the five element system of oriental medicine. So, and, and that relates to the throat chakra. Think of the voice, the word energy, the energy of words and language. We express it through, uh, we're thinking it in our head, yes. We're, we're expressing it through our, our throat, which is also where we take in food to the digestive tract. It's that uh, vortex that involves material food coming in, which also carries nutrition for the soul, the spirit minerals that we're gonna absorb through the digestive action. Uh, we're also gonna break down the nutrients in the food, like break down proteins into amino acids, which we're gonna rebuild into linear structures of proteins and enzymes for our building our own body. Same with, with RNA and DNA. We break down those linear structures and rebuild them according to our own sequence, our own biocommunication systems in this earth element linear structure of, of building up the body and building up our, our thinking with, in the same way with words and linear structures. 
So this is the top vortex of, of a sphere that centers on the heart, it's energized, the, the energy comes from the non-local to the local heart, and the heart has the local and non-local effects combined, and so it goes then from that locality center to the non-local, the next layer of, of the chakra spheres, which is the fifth and the third chakra, starting at the top, which is the inward vortex, when, the, when, when these chakras are functioning properly, it's gonna come in at the top and go out at the bottom. They'll all be uh, in alignment and, and flow, and that's when it's all working coherently and uh, the, the kundalini energy is, is flowing. So, uh, so the fifth chakra, and then from there it goes to the third, which is associated with the water element, the kidneys, kidney bladder system in, in, the, uh, in the meridians. We, we can see that, that with this sphere, uh, we've, gone, we've gone from the, the, we have three levels now, we've gone from the non-local metal element, which has its meridians here, where the, where the hand grasps, you have the, the large intestine and, and the lung in, in uh, the uh, electroacupuncture, slightly different location in terms of classical acupuncture for the lung meridian, but still in the same digits. And so that action of, of reaching and grasping and manipulating tools that's, that's uh, somewhat unique to, to human beings uh, in the level of development that we have at this time here on Earth uh, is related to the interaction with the not-self, the non-local. It's related to defense, to control and manipulation uh, of our environment. And uh, so that's uh, uh, that in relation to that outermost sphere. It's like where we can reach out to. We can think of it as a sphere of interaction with our environment that's out, out here in space. So that's the metal element. And then it comes into the heart center, but the heart, which is, yes, is centered here and strongly energetic in its radiation, so it fills that sphere. We can measure the heart field all the way out to that interaction sphere of the hands. And where are the meridians for this center? Well, the, the fire element meridians, we have small intestine, heart, Endocrine or triple warmer is the, the traditional name for that. We call it endocrine as a functional, more functional term that uh, has more easy direct meaning to, to you as we work with you. Uh, and also the, the, what's conventionally called the heart protector or uh, circulation sex. We'll call it the circulation meridian, again, the functional term that we prefer. Uh, so again, it's on the hand, but toward the outside, the yang side, the energetic side, and where this is more toward the yin side in this kind of configuration for the metal element. So, uh, so the metal is like bringing the, the energetic into the physical and, and expressing the outflow here in the, yin, in the yin uh, direction on the hand and the heart taking, the, uh, uh, taking that physical uh, material substance of the ormus coming into the heart and energizing it into the diamagnetic form that our spirit body is made out of and, and expressing its uh, outflow currents, its, its antennae here, you can say, or in its expressive circuitry uh, in, in the outer part of the hand. Uh, so again, we have thoracic organs, lung, heart, uh, primarily associated with these antennae that come out from the thorax, the hands. And, and then we move into the abdomen, as we started talking about the, the earth element, where, is, where are its meridians associated? The, the earth element meridians we have on, on the foot, we have the, the pancreas on the right foot, the spleen on the left, toward the inside, the yin side, uh, and, and also the stomach, which is on the second toe from the, from the middle. So starting toward the midline, we go to the, the the water element, the kidney bladder, kidney, kidney and bladder meridian are both on the little toe. So they're on the yang side, more on the energetic side. And then we go to the liver, uh, liver and gallbladder. Well, it's got one each. It's got one on the yin and one on the yang. It has more balance in that way as far as yin and yang. And, and we move into a transcendent, uh, we move into a, begin to move into the transcendent 
uh, type of information processing where we had, we, in the heart formation of these individual or diatomic, depending on, on the mineral, they may be diatomic, uh, diamagnetic, or, or it may even be, it's possible that, that it's a minimum of a triatomic uh, circuit in order to create a diamagnetic uh, circuit. That's one of, one of my theories. It's testable eventually as we develop the technology, but it's possible you might need three atoms together to form a diamagnetic circuit because now three makes a plane, but that, that becomes one thought, one concept, one word, one identification, one meaning, one value uh, formed in the heart, where we form value and meaning. <clears throat> and, then, and then when we string those together and we create a longer uh, 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 wire of, of meaning, we have a sentence structure, just like we form DNA again and RNA and and enzymes and, and, and structural proteins, all formed as linear linear elements, but then that give meaning in how they function in the body. So the, uh, we have the linear of those di diamagnetic uh, units of, of words. And then in the water element, we, we have the choice point. We have a Y structure, we have a branching structure, which defines a plane. You know, we have a map now where there's a fork in the road and we can choose which fork we're gonna go on. We have the, the activation of the will and it, this also relates to memory. We choose the things we remember or they choose us by their intensity. But when it's intense enough for us to choose a meaning, it has a meaning for us. We have a relationship with that, that, that information. Now it's stored in memory. And then we go from that planar two-dimensional structure in, in the water element. Now we go to the, the liver, gallbladder, the wood element, and we have three-dimensionality. So it's, there's, a, there's a beginning of transcendence there. Of, it's associated with vision, like we have two eyes that see a two-dimensional picture each, but when the brain puts that together in the visual cortex, we can get disparity information that tells us about depth and that's a transcendence from the two-dimensional to the three-dimensional. 